Hello students, I am Minakshi Khamkar from Vidyalankar Polytechnic. In this video, we will be studying X-ray number 10, Combo Box and Leased Box Implementation. Subject, GUI Application Development using VB.net. Semester 4. So, you, as you can see the output, in this output we have taken, this is Leased Box and this is Combo Box. The difference between leased box and combo box is leased box displays all the options in one view. You can see all the options displayed here. Whereas in combo box, when you click on this option, uh, drop down menu symbol, uh, you will get all the options in this list. First, we will see the output. When in combo box, this option is selected and when I click on this button, it is the selected option is displayed in leased box. This is a second leased box to display selected items from this combo box. So, whichever items you select from this combo box, it will be displayed in this leased box. So, I have selected OOP, OOP is displayed. Now, suppose I select second option, Java and click on this button so java is displayed in leased box now we will see what is the output of this leased box now suppose i click on vidyalankar it is displayed in this text box second option vjti third option gpm so whichever college you select that option is displayed in text box this is text box you can take label you can take leased box whichever option whichever tool you want you can uh, take for displaying uh, these options same thing here also i have taken leased box but you can take that label button any control to display selected item now we will see how to write code for this experiment so first you should design this form in this form from toolbox from toolbox you should display leased box it is leased box 1 please make sure that name of each tool is proper first one is leased box 1 you can check name of each toolbox in property window here leased box 1 second is text box its name is text box 1 third is Combo box 1 and fourth is button. Button 1, I have changed its caption. Caption means whatever written, whatever displayed on this button. That I have changed to click. Here you can change that from this property. Text click. Next, fifth option is, fifth rule is leased box 2. So you can check its name also, leased box 2. So we have total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tools in this experiment number 10 design. Uh, if your toolbox is not visible, you can open your toolbox from view and then toolbox. So your toolbox will be visible and from this toolbox you should drag buttons, place box, then combo box, whichever option you want. Okay. Combo box, leased box, button and text box. These options you should drag from this toolbox. Now we will see code. Now as we have seen in output, when I click on this button, click. The option which is selected from this combo box is displayed in leased box. So, where should I write the code for this? On button. So, double click on this click button. Your code window will be opened. Make sure that that button name is button 1. And I have double click. So, button 1 underscore click. This section should be opened for writing code. Now I want to display selected item in leased box. 
for list box to dot items dot add and it it should display combo box selected items so in bracket you should write combo box one dot selected item so what will be your output combo box one the uh, options from combo box one selected options will be displayed in list box 2 where it will be displayed in list box 2 one more thing i want to add uh, when we run this project it displays the option automatically in list box and in combo box so i have written that code on form load event so double click on form this form 1 load will be opened so here i am adding the components in combo box 1 i am adding four options op java mic and gad these are subject names so i am adding some these subject names using combo box 1 dot items dot add and after that in double quotes in the in bracket you should add whichever option you want i have added subjects next in list box one list box one i i have added the college names vidyalankar vijayti and gpm the college list so these list is displayed as soon as you run your project because it is written in form one load means as your form is loaded after running that output will be automatically displayed now next we will see how leased box options college list form leased box is displayed in this text box so where to write this code double click on leased box you should make uh, you make sure that leased box one underscore selected index changed this event should be opened list box one underscore selected index changed means whenever you select values from that list box it should be displayed where it should be displayed in text box one text box one dot append test these are function to display values append values in text box so how it will be displayed first it will display blank space then list box one dot selected item dot to string whenever we want to display options from uh, this list box and uh, we have to display it in text box it should be converted to string because text box accepts string value to display okay so this is your x number 10 we have seen the output again one more time we will see the output this is the output from combo box if i select op click op is displayed if i select mic click mic is displayed here this is list box in list box all the options are displayed at a time so if i select first college second college and third college you can see there is a space between two college names because I have given blank space here between two college names and append text this function is appending each value to this text box appending means adding adding a value to previous value so previous value was Vidyalanka and second value is Vijayti and third value is GPM thank you